Good morning. I have an interesting story coming out of Staten Island, New York for you. And uh, it just really shows where we are at in this country. And I think this is, this is just the beginning of seeing events like this unfold across the nation. So let's jump into it here. Got an article right here from RT. Of course, I will link it in the description of the video. Titled, Activist Chanting USA and F. Joe Biden Storm Vaccinated Only Food Court in Staten Island, New York in protest against mandates. So let's jump on into the article. It says dozens of vaccine passport protesters have swarmed a food court in New York City. Although the court has a vaccinated only policy, the protesters were not asked to provide any proof of vaccination. A crowd of some 60 people took over the food district area at the Staten Island Mall on Saturday in a protest against New York City-wide vaccine mandate. A video shared by Freedom News TV shows activists flooding the food court without any resistance from either security or staff, despite a sign at the entrance warning diners that they must be vaccinated to enter the court. The protesters then proceed to take seats, occasionally breaking into chants of USA and F. Joe Biden. Freedom News TV reported that the activists ate for over 30 minutes unimpeded before leaving. At one point, the demonstrators chanted, My Body, My Choice, and recited the Pledge of Allegiance. Court employees and other visitors appeared not to mind the display. At least one demonstrator in the video could be seen wearing a QAnon-themed t-shirt, while another activist sported a Trump-1 shirt. Of course, they have to point that out, right? The scene was in stark contrast to one that played out outside an Italian restaurant on New York City's Upper West Side on Monday night, where three Texas women were arrested for assaulting a hostess who attempted to enforce the vaccine pass rules. <coughs> Since mid-August, New Yorkers have had to show proof that they have received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine to dine indoors. Residents can either bring a vaccine card with them or show its digital copy. By introducing the policy, New York City became the first major city in the U.S. to make proof of vaccination a must for people who want to participate in most indoor activities under its Key to New York City program. Gotta love that, right? The restrictions have drawn sharp criticism from conservatives, but also from workers and unions arguing that the rules are discriminatory. In a win for opponents of the mandate, a federal appeals court on Saturday blocked a COVID-19 vaccination mandate for city school employees pending a decision by a three-judge panel for on its legality. Unperturbed by the setback, city officials said that they expect the mandate, which requires school workers to have at least one dose of a coronavirus vaccine by Monday, to be upheld and will enforce it anyway. So, very, very interesting stuff coming out, and I want to, uh, I want to go back uh, to where it, it talked about uh, a couple of the activists and what they decided to wear. So... Per the article, there were roughly 60 people, and there were only two, only two that were anything that you could possibly link even to a political party here. And I really want folks to think about that, because they are really trying to make this a left versus right issue, and it truly really isn't. It really isn't. I, I know... Just as many people that I would say are on the left that say not no, but hell no, as I do people that are on the right. I don't think it's a partisan thing. I really don't think it's a partisan thing. I think it's a personal choice and people are voicing it. Shalom.